Hebrews chapter 11, and let's begin from the very beginning. We can start from verse 1. Hebrews 11, he says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, this is a very good place to start from because that definition of faith is so inclusive that everything we're going to look at is right in that scripture. And he tells us faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, I, I want us to understand that we're going to look at five signs uh, of faith. Five signs of faith. Number one is faith always seeks a fight. Faith is a seeker. Whenever your faith is not uh, hinging on an object which it overpowers because faith is an overcomer. I mean, First John 5 verse 4, it tells us that faith overcomes. Are you getting that? Faith overcomes. Faith, faith doesn't stay still. So, Number one, and very importantly, you've got to know when there's faith, faith will always be seeking because faith is a seeker. So whenever you've come to that place where you are so satisfied and you are in victory, um, if there's faith, faith will be yearning already for the next level because faith, is a seeker. Look at that. He says, um, back to Hebrews 11 verse 1. He says, faith is a substance of things hoped for. You see, faith is always looking at what is next. Just like right now, we are in the process of finishing strong. What should your faith be staking at? Your faith should right now be hinging at the finishing line of 2023, what are those things that faith will bring home? Are you getting that? That means that faith doesn't look at the fight. Faith looks at the trophies of the fight. Because faith is a victory. Faith is not a fight. Faith, the means of faith is the fight. But the end of faith is not the fight. The end of faith is the victory. Are you getting that? And so, faith is always seeking a victory. Why? Because that is the road that delivers its ultimate. So, number one, faith is a seeker, meaning that faith always is desirous. And this is why it's so important that, like Paul says, this is examining yourself, whether you are in the faith. Why? Because faith always has a desire. When you come to that place where there's no desire in your life, it's time to check yourself because, you see, there is no safe ground outside faith. And faith, by nature, we are saying, is a seeker. That means no matter how good where you are, you must always be in that state of what? Seeking. You've just gotten that dream job. Yeah, while celebrating, your eyes must now be on, now that I'm inside, what is the next level inside? That's how faith looks. That's how faith works. Because faith doesn't build the war fence. Faith always is looking outside the war fence. So faith brought you inside the organization, and the moment it takes you inside, faith starts looking upwards to say, what is our next level? Are you getting that? And so... That, that seeking element of faith, faith always seeks a fight. You see, look, if you don't like to fight, there is no way that you're going to live your life without it. Look at just the war that just started a few days ago in Israel. Israel was not looking and knocking on someone's door for a fight. 
But while they were doing their own thing, they just suddenly here to say they are being gongs from the southern part of the country. And did you notice how long did it take them to respond? Within a few um, hours, they were already throwing grenades into the enemy's camp. That is how faith is. Faith is always ready for a fight. Be that way. How long does it take you to respond?